Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Last time, we continued our search for the assassin and still had no glimpse of him. This time we will continue our search for the assassin and maybe we will get a glimpse of him. That's... once again, it's showing one thing that I don't really like about the missions in this game. It's basically enemy spam with much of nothing else going on. Like, in the first game we had prefab houses. In this game we have basically what amounts to prefab missions, and I'm not a big fan of that. Like, you can say that, yeah, we have a lot of missions now, and sure, but they're going to be very samey, so it's not going to be any better than just having a few more impactful missions. But oh well, we need to go through this anyway, so... Let's continue. Okay, first of all... Um, we're going on the other side of this place. Let's prepare closer combat weaponry. Put this on, put that on. Alright. These trucks are quite interesting. I wonder how that works during construction. You have trucks that bring in things all the way up here. That's a bit weird, but maybe it does make sense. Oh. There's a machine gun to scan. And that's good. And that is a Merc. Also... Okay, so that's what they meant by that there is wind up here. Things are shaking. That will make shooting from the sniper rifle quite a bit more difficult. I think this is a pretty good spot for actually sniping enemies. This should come in handy. Machine gun damage. Hack BDA. Wow, that's a lot of money that this guy has. So lime in the middle, orange at the top. Lime at the bottom. There we go. And more crits. Alright. Oh. This. Oh, this is the bridge. Okay. So, actually, never mind. We still can't see much, but I'm pretty sure that once I'm down this path, we will see a lot of enemies. Affirmative. So switch this up. And reuse that. And sure, you can stay with a shotgun just in case someone walks up to us. Yeah, now we cannot go back. Activate. Fortunately, this isn't the greatest place Please because there's not a whole lot of cover. So I should just go up there. And let's distract them, so hack this guy. I don't care what you do! No one gets across that place! Oh, nice. So let's detonate this. And there we go. Ow. Ah, you know what? Looks like I can't really hit them over here. Hmm. 
Okay, now I see that there's something out there. Ah. Nice shot. Ah, uh, Legion. <laughs> so we are basically crossing from the unfinished tower to the finished tower. And there sure are winds up here. Thankfully that What the hell are you waiting for? Just kill them. Thankfully that only uh, affects our aim and we cannot actually drop down. Watch your fire! no more enemies. There's always more enemies. What the hell am I paying you for? You tell me. That sniper rifle really comes in handy. Especially now that it can fire multiple shots at once. Mm. Okay, we're heading into right. close range territory. Reinforcements did not fare that well after all. Oh. Die. How about now? Clips Commando. I have a very good place to deal with them though. Die. How about you chill out? And then chill out some more. And now I'm out of 
Kid sings. But that works. Uh, well, we did finish them off in Sana. I guess that's not what she wanted to say, though. Alright, so there's nothing else left, actually. Well, since there is this left over, I might as well take it. While I still can. Alright, and let's move forward. Are we there yet? Looks like it. Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. Uh, not really. It is an interesting idea, though. You really are paranoid, aren't you? Don't patronize me, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. Hmm. How much do you have? But no. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? Well, the difference is, Shepard doesn't kill people for money. You kill people because you think they're beneath you. They're in your way. I kill people when they leave me no choice. You've got a choice. You don't have to do this. I can tell you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... <laughs> That was quite the entrance. I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize, but prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Asana and her men deserve what they got. Not for her, for me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How did you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. Hmm. Well, I guess that's true. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. 
This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. Mission complete. Learned... Uh, earned level 17. Gained two squad points. Mission summary. Recruited thin Creos for the team, but medically questionable unless mission is resolved quickly. Legal representatives dealing with public damage to Dantia's towers. <laughs> and got the new weapon. Did we get the description? I don't think we did. No, I think we did. Yeah, we got a description right when we took it. So yeah, lower power per shot, but still very formidable. Microfield Pulsar. Plus 30% sh some machine gun damage, very nice. And looks like I got all the credits, excellent. And got some element zero that I don't really need, but I'll take it anyway. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Obviously he is too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. Well. I don't see any reason not to trust him. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah. And he may not. No, well, Jacob doesn't seem to be very happy with us, but... Doesn't matter. We got the assassin. Most importantly, we got the sniper rifle. From the mission. And we got a whole bunch of research to do. So first of all, go with that so machine gun damage, 3 out of 5. So we got the radium for that. And locked SMG extra rounds. Weapon upgrade, heat sink capacity, squad bonus, 50% some machine gun rounds. Improves SMGs for your entire squad. More efficient heat sink materials improve the absorption and dissipation of heat. Allows for smaller, easier to carry heat sinks. That's quite a bit of iridium required, but that does work quite well. Although it does say squad bonus, it's actually just for Shepard because the squad has infinite ammo anyway. Kind of annoying, but hey. Biotic cooldown, smart amplifier, bioamp upgrade, squad bonus, 20% faster biotic cooldowns. Generating a mass effect field requires significant concentration. After generating a field, all biotics require some rest before they have the mental focus and clarity to generate another. By tracking neural activity and recognizing the individual patterns of the user, 
the amp can better interpret the kinds of field the biotic wishes to generate. This requires less focus when generating fields and reduces cooldown time. Excellent. Very, very useful in this case. And... What else do we have? So... We need one more heavy pistol damage, one more assault rifle damage to finish off those upgrades. We don't have enough resources for those, but I don't really care so far. And we don't have anything here either. Okay, so we're still good with regards to um, resources, so I don't need to go mining for more. Good to know. Let's look at our emails. Unread messages. Appreciate the help. From Lisbeth Bainham. Hey, Shepard. I heard about what you did on Ilium. I wanted to thank you for helping out Zeus Hope one more time. We're surviving if barely. Most of Exogeny left, but I stayed behind as in that tache, and to make sure that nothing was left of the Thorian. We don't need that problem again. Also, I'm really, really sorry that I shot at you. I'm pretty sure I said that, but I just wanted to reiterate it. Good luck, and thanks. Zeus Hope is alive again because of what you did. Sincerely, Elizabeth Bainham. Yep, another email from Pharos. So that's cool. Uh, well, first things first, let's go talk to Joker, of course, and see whether his opinion of the assassin is higher than that of Jacob's. Oh, another dangerous alien aboard, Commander. Thanks. Why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something? <laughs> well, I mean, collecting dangerous aliens is kind of Shepard's job, you know? And, yeah, I don't think there's anything else that he can tell us. I assume everything is going well up here? You know, this is really nice. Edie took up the slack in every department. I could get used to this kind of help. It is not my intention to assume all of your responsibilities, Jeff. No, 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 I'm good. Just keep me updated. Quietly. <laughs> Are you doing anything? <laughs> Edie isn't a crutch. I want your eyes on everything. Eyes are easy, Commander. I got eyes covered. I believe covering your eyes would be counter to Shepard's intention. Human intentions are tough to read, Edie. But keep trying, you'll get the hang of it. Joker. All right, all right. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. Alright, well, let's go and talk to our newly obtained assassin. Who wanted someplace dry. So, whoa, don't jump on table, Shepard, please. Behave yourself. He is in cruise quarters. So let's go talk to people in cruise quarters. And guess what? There was one place with... Well, two places that were locked, and now one of them is open. Life support! Quite the name for the place. And there's Thane. And some sniper rifles, and some pistols. What, can I not talk to Edie about what this place is? That's weird, but okay. Do you need something? Hmm. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Kepril Syndrome. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. 
It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hanor have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Hmm. Then don't live on Kaji, or use breathers. Drill have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Hmm. Are you gonna be alright until the end of the mission? I should be fine for another 8 to 12 months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar Illuminated Primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Fires minds in Kaje, you say. Do you need something? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. Do you have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Sounds useful. Let's see what they've got. And this is a ship enhancement? Modular probe bay. Probe booster. Normandy acceleration upgrade. Normandy gains twice the probe capacity and additional probes. Very useful. Let me know if you want to pursue that. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar are difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Okay. And our talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. Well, that's interesting to know. <laughs> when you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emonkira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, Goddess of Motherhood and Protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, Goddess of Oceans and the Afterlife. Oceans and Afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Mm. Consider, the ocean is full of life. Yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Apparently. Well. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. I should go. I should go. And before we indeed go, let's go and see what Legion says once he doesn't want to talk to us anymore. Shepard Commander, are you prepared to attack the Heretic Stronghold? Not yet. Acknowledged. Okay, that's brief. Um, 
But yeah, we actually are not really prepared to do that just yet. We need some more people. So, yeah, and nobody else is, of course, going to talk to Shepard. Except for... Our thief there, but she's not going to tell us any thing that we don't already know either. So let's just go back and proceed forward. But that will be next time. Not really sure what I want to do next time, actually. But I will figure that out by the time it is next time. So see you then. Later.